Greetings, peace, peace. Another uh, question came through that I want to address um, about energy, and a person asked me to kind of go more deeply into portals and helping ones to understand portals and how energy flows and is exchanged through portals. So that's what I want to do on this episode. Now, first and foremost, um, the way I like to explain things when it comes to helping you to understand anything dealing with like higher spiritual concepts and dealing with energy in general is I like to explain things based upon economics, based upon materials, based upon resources, money even. Because I find that people, you can get a person's attention when you explain things in that way. Uh, because we all like nice things, we all like materials, we all like resources. No matter, I mean, who you are or whatever, everybody wants something because we are based in material resources. So to get a physical base being to understand something that they can't see, feel, or touch, you have to use something physical that they can see, feel, or touch to help them to overstand higher energetic concepts. So the way I like to kind of explain portals is you can kind of look at the term itself and the term portal itself goes back to the term port and when you deal with a port when it comes to like resources and finances and money and things of that nature uh, a port is where goods are either imported or exported. This is where goods are exchanged. So usually most ports are located on various shores where boats can kind of like dock in and out. Where a boat can kind of park and you know deliver its goods or either pick up some goods on what's called a dock and then you know they go out into the sea or whatever the case may be to pick up more goods or to deliver the goods that they picked up and um, you know you have ports like in like of course Miami which I've been there uh, I believe you have ports up in Boston and Maine area I've never been in that area I want, I want to go to Boston and Maine one day It'd be an exciting place to go uh, you have ports all over I mean you have ports you know internationally of course I'm sure there are various ports in China so they can get their goods from Shanghai and, you know what may have you into Shanghai or out of Shanghai or what may have you you know China is the number one supplier of most of um, our material things right now so of course you know they have to have some form of ports there but the bottom line is this is where goods are exchanged in general um, now you when you were born you came through a port called the womb that's right, your mother's womb was a port or a portal. This is the most this is the most significant portal when it comes to this physical reality is the womb. It's the number one portal and it's the same way. When your mother birthed you, what happened first? Her water broke. So thinking about the concept we talked about in economics, let's build on it further. So you came via water just like goods and resources come via water, sometimes they come via air whatever the case may be and you actually started out, you came via air because you had to come through your mother's thoughts and your father's thoughts to conceive you, to bring you into this physical reality so it started out in the air and then eventually you came through water and you had to have a doctor remember I said that goods are exchanged through a doc you had a doctor or a doc to deliver you when a ship um, is when a, when a ship arrives at a particular port or portal you notice that they call this the, the birthing period this is when a ship is giving birth just like you your mother was giving birth when she had you this is why you get a birth certificate this is where this comes from because see here in the matrix they turn you into a good they turn you into a resource 
they own, they claim to own physical ownership. If you were born in the hospital, that is. If you were born in the hospital, they claim ownership over you. This is why they have to have a doctor present when you are born. Because this goes back to old commerce. See, back in the day, when the Moors and different, and the pirates and different people would deliver goods and services, or goods, well, and services, to various different lands, the ship when it arrived it was said to give birth this is where this term look up the term birth it's not just limited to when a baby being born when, it's, when, when goods are received this is a ship giving birth to so your mother is likened unto a ship and your mother's womb is a portal that's one particular portal located on the human body so that's where a, what a portal is a portal is where energy flows in and out of. Remember on the last video I was talking about how the North Pole and the South Pole are portals. Well your body was designed exactly like the Earth. You have a South Pole which would be your womb. For a woman she has three different holes or what you can call portals. One leading the clitoris area where urine comes out of, another being the rectum another being the vagina so this is these are portals and then you have a portal located on your crown chakra and at all times energy is flowing in and out of these particular portals they say darker energy comes from the south pole and lighter positive more positive energy comes from the north pole right above the north pole there is what's called a crystal city that sits over the North Pole and sometimes we can see it and other times we can't. Scientists know about it but they don't want to tell you because they were sworn under oath by different extraterrestrials not to reveal the, uh, the truth about the Crystal City because they don't want to alarm the people or they just want to remain incognito or whatever the case may be but there's a Crystal City that exists in the North Pole point and this is where positive energy flows so what extraterrestrials have been doing since this crystal city from my research has been out there since the 1900s since like the early around the early 1900s this crystal city has been here and this crystal city was put here to start to send positive energy to the earth to prepare for the shift so they put it over the North Pole so this is where what you would call light energy cosmic energy comes from but not only that you have this same portal and located on what's called your crown chakra there's an energy center located right above your head and that's called the crown chakra and there's another one located above that and that's the eighth chakra that's kind of like the capstone to the crown chakra or the point where energy channels in that's the eighth chakra that a lot of people do not know anything of but this, this is where this is where positive cosmic energy comes from this is how you get your energy from the cosmos so when we talk about different star constellations affecting you this is how they literally affect you energy wise this is how you receive the energy through that particular portal and when you receive the energy it begins to flow through your body but then you have another portal that's a little bit darker in this particular portal or actually there are several um, one is closed for the male and two are open for the male and three are open for the female but a male only has two that are open it's actually has three but it's closed and um, if you look at a male you'll notice that you see a stitching located where a woman's vagina would be located where her 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 pussy hole would be located at and I know you're like oh you're using this vulgar language man look I gotta you know keep it real man you know people got all kind of people watching these videos and I mean that's not a bad word you say pussy cat there's a reason why you say this, but it's not a bad word. It's only a bad word to you. But let's just be, you know, politically correct for right now. But uh, this is where her vagina is located at. But if you lift up a male, and you'll see a stitching that closes, that looks like it's something was sold up. This is that particular hole where you, see you, when you started incarnating here, 
as a male, women were incarnating first. So when they did the experiments on males, they had to stitch up. But they did this through the DNA code. They had to stitch up the vagina, and then they had to extend the clitoris and turn it into a phallus or a magic wand. So the penis is a magic wand or a phallus. So they had to close up the vagina and then elongate the clitoris. So really, your body parts are the same as a woman's body parts. It's just certain things were encoded into your DNA so that you could be a male and not a female, just like you have nipples, just like women have nipples and they're they can be stimulated just like women's nipples can be stimulated and they can be erotic zones just like women's nipples can be erotic zones. So this is basically your anatomy and this is how your body works, but let's get back to portals. We'll talk more about that in the video I'm gonna do about sexual magic and sexual rituals later on. But uh so it's stitched up, so you would have had a third hole there, but as still energy still flows through those various different holes. So this is where the dark energy is located at. Just like in the South Pole, that's where dark energy is located at on the planet. In the South Pole. Positive energy is located in the North Pole. So this is where in the South Pole, this is how you get to the center of the Earth. The South Pole has various different points to get into the Earth's inner cavern. See, the Earth is hollow. It's not solid the way you think it is. So the Earth has caverns in it. There's water streams that we know nothing of in the center of the Earth because we haven't, we're not able to survive and get there. We don't know the route. There's extraterrestrials that have maps that teach you how to get in and out of various different caverns in the Earth. But you get through to these caverns through portals. The energy flows from these caverns out of the South Pole on up into the North Pole. And then it keeps going, and then it goes back in, and it keeps it flows in a circle over and over again, like I was talking about in the last video. But what happens is that if this energy isn't balanced on both points, it can cause the Earth to shift in a basically an imbalanced direction, be it either an imbalance of too much positive energy on the Earth, which will cause physical beings to not exist. See, that, that's right. If there's too much positive energy on the earth, we would go into 4D bodies and our physical bodies wouldn't exist anymore. So the physical realm wouldn't exist. This physical matrix wouldn't exist. And we need this physical matrix to exist so that certain souls can continue to play out karma that they have had when they incarnated in physical shells. Very important here. So we need this, this portal, this... this uh, physical reality to exist. It's important that it exists. I know a lot of you are like, I'm ready to go to 5D. 5D isn't physical. You ready to go. 4D, there's levels of 4D that's physical. We're in, some of us are in 4D now. You can be in 4D and still exist in a physical shell in like half of 4D. But then the other half of 4D, you'll have to leave your shell. 5D, there's no physical reality in 5D. There's only there's physical bodies, but they are based upon images. They are they are based on the atom, is what I'm saying. They're based on antimatter, a reality which you may not know a lot of, of course, and may not understand. So, well, the closest way for you to understand it is your dreams. You still see physical things in your dreams, but these are thought forms. So this is what's going on, or whatever. So, if the Earth was ever imbalanced or if this energy is imbalanced a certain type of way when it's flowing through the grid then everything will go, out, go into a state of whack. So this is why you have on the earth you have what's called ley lines. And there are some ley lines on the earth that are more important than others. Ley lines are based on the longitudinal and latitudinal lines that flow on the earth that, that exist on this earth. This is what's called a grid. The earth exists on a grid. And this grid exists on a 3D level or third density level, which is the atom physical density level, and it exists also on a 4 and 5D level and 6D level as well. And these ley lines is what keeps everything intact to this establish boundaries from the physical world and the non-physical world. And you may not understand these things, but as you begin to travel, this is why you have to travel as a spiritual person. 
because you will understand these things more and I'll get more into that in a second so the so this energy that's flowing constantly this is what makes our reality what it is this is what keeps everything intact and it has to be balanced through these particular ley lines with the same thing with energy that's flowing through your body except they haven't taught you how to balance the energy so this is why a lot of us are stuck in energies darker energies below the navel we're stuck in the material realm you know we're caught up on the physical reality because we haven't learned how to balance the energy based upon these portals and we do have other portals besides the crown chakra and the, the portals that are located below the crown chakra all of our chakra points are actually portals but what happens is when energy is flowing around us constantly a lot of the chakras in between are never truly I'm not going to say they're not activated but we don't really get a chance to really feel reality through various different chakra points so that we can know reality through various different chakra points because we aren't taught to balance we're not balanced we don't eat properly so the way you balance your energy as it flows through these various different portals is the number one thing is diet eating properly and it's not about being a vegan or vegetarian if that's what you want to do that's fine but it's about being in shape you see like if you have a, a body that's you know you're not in shape I'm not going to talk about anybody here but if you may have a particular body where you know you're not in shape and if you're not in shape that means various different chakra points or nadis which are energy centers may not be functioning properly in your body so the energy is not flowing correctly through your body so this is why you can't understand certain things this is why you can't feel energy through meditation and this is why you just don't even understand spirituality because of the fact that you are imbalanced and these you have blockages in these various different chakra points now another way to balance the energy is you have to create grids with crystals like this particular crystal that I have here is very small this is a citrine crystal very small but if you notice there's a point on this citrine crystal and what you can do you have to be creative use your higher positive energy to create a healthy body for yourself you can begin to open these chakras this is why I get pointed crystals you can begin to open these energy centers by drawing circles around various different chakras around various different chakra points you should draw circles <clears throat> you can do it on your throat chakra draw circles and this helps to activate that particular chakra you may not feel anything in the beginning but if you keep doing this like right now I'm feeling it I'm lit up right now in my throat chakra my throat chakra definitely needs some healing most people that don't need no rock but uh so yeah this this is op helping to cleanse and clear my throat chakra we have to clear our chakras at times too because chakras can open and close you know they're just like plants bulbs on a plant sometimes they open and they, when they open, they're blossoming, and then when they close, they aren't. They haven't bloomed. So if you want your chakras to bloom at different times, you should do this this ritual. You can do it on all your chakra points, and it helps to balance your chakra points. And this helps the energy that's flowing through various different portals to flow freely. So another thing that you can do, and this is where it gets kind of interesting, at, is you can shift your location to shift your makeup and I'm going to go back to the earth again because remember I was talking about the different ley lines of the earth see you can shift your energetic makeup on this planet your physical makeup on this planet I've talked about this before if you move south of the equator you will lose weight literally without ever working out without and I'm not talking about from sweating it off either you will literally drop five pounds which shows you that this earth isn't it's not locked in stone nothing here on this planet is locked in concrete stone because if that was the case how come you're not the same weight on every point on the planet your weight can change and when you and there's more about you that can change that's just what scientists know but there's more about you that can change from you just shifting your location you may not be able to be a spiritual in one location and you may move to another location and become more spiritual and this is because the earth is set up on a grid so if you move say for instance across the world your crown chakra is going to be aligned with different stars every morning as they rise or different points 
you know, the sun is going to be, when it's daytime in that particular area that you're at, it may be nighttime in another area. So the energy flows different. In that particular area where it's daytime, like say for instance, as I make this video, it's nighttime somewhere. So the energy is going to be different where it's nighttime at versus where it's daytime at. Very important stuff. So you want to shift your body. You want to be able to move to different places. You can align with different stars and you can align with different ley lines on the planet and different longitudinal, latitudinal lines. So as energy is flowing in and out of those portals in the North and South Pole, your body is going to receive this energy different through your North and South Pole which are the portals located on your body. So I hope that helped. That's what portals are all about. To receive darker energy, which we may call black or dark energy located below the navel, in the around the sexual organs and the rectum area, and then light positive energy located here in the crown chakra. Very important. Very important stuff. So that's going to do it for me. Hopefully that helps you to understand portals a lot more. Um, I have you know, a few more awesome videos I need to drop in this particular fold of videos that I'm doing. And um, the next video will flow with this one. So I hope that helped. I'm going to go ahead and shut down. And um, as always, I'm going to leave you in peace, hotep, namaste, the vibes. I'm out.